Another story that caught our eye this morning, Claudia Winkleman has revealed what sealed the deal with her partner, Chris, his first class manners. So, Nadia, let me ask you politely, <laughs> not interrupting you, are you attracted to good manners? What are you doing, oh, for God's sake? God. God. It's swaying it's just seductively. The, it's just the word, good manners. Listen, boys, if you're listening, and guys, <laughs> it's the hottest thing you can do. <laughs> I love it. Not smarmy, yicky stuff, but just really good, just inherent good manners. Because to me, it shows a level of kindness and empathy. It's a really good sign if somebody has so good manners. So give us an example. What is it that makes you stroke your mill hair <laughs> jumper? <laughs> um, oh, well, I, I, I mean, I am a feminist. But I love a door being open for me. <laughs> she oh turned into Diana Doors. Oh, I am do a you, feminist. Do you honestly do that face if someone opens the door for you and John Lewis okay. nods? Because people get would run a mile. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I open oh, doors for women as well. Jean, your face is such a picture. I, I open doors for women as well. I know Claudia as well. I know Claudia and her husband. And, and Chris <clears> is lovely. And he's, you know, he's quite posh. And he's, you know, well-educated and well-spoken. And he is very, very polite with beautiful manners. Um, but I suppose it depends on what manners are, yeah. you know, because I would say that Gary, my, my husband, is a lot more kind of rough and ready and not partic doesn't particularly come from that background. But so, you know, are his table manners like something out of Downton Abbey? No. And does that annoy you? No, it doesn't bother oh, me. Oh, it annoys at all. me. Ian has no table manners whatsoever. What even do you with mean? a even with a steak, he doesn't use a knife. He just puts a fork in it and starts to. But Where's maybe he that's from? a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> Where was he brought up? <laughs> but he doesn't care and he does it to annoy me. You should start calling him ne Neanderthal. <laughs> as yeah. in ER. Yeah. Does he do it in a it. restaurant though, eat like that? <laughs> he, he doesn't care. He, Ian would pick up the plate and lick it if he thought it was a fabulous sauce. I, he would, it, and he just, as I say, I think he, annoy, he does it to annoy me. You know that thing when you finish your meal, you're supposed to put your knife and fork together? Oh, no, don't tell to me. To show everyone in the restaurant that you've finished and, you know, they can take it away. He refuses to do it. 30 years I've been trying to get him to do this. Wow. He just... That would really irk with me. I would think, it? I think it's because We're you know how you... Spirits. I know, you know how you take on what your mum said? And yeah. my mum had these things of... Um, that you had to hold your knife like that, not yeah. like a pencil. Yeah. So I became obsessed with it. So every man that I was ever with, and then with Lincoln, you know, it was the first thing that I looked at, and it was like a few when he held his knife like that. The other thing was making a noise when you eat. Now, Lincoln doesn't generally, but you give him one of those hard sweets, and I can't, I have to leave the room. <laughs> What's he doing? I, it's that... Chobbling. <laughs> uh, my God, Chobbling. I can't even... I can't even Bear it. That, but to me, manners are how you treat a waiter, yeah. how you treat yeah. people who yeah. are looking after you, because that, to me, says everything. Yeah. And, but... and therefore, in that re respect, Lincoln is yeah. wonderfully mannered. And, in fact, sometimes says Denise, to me, did Denise, you say thank you? There's also how you treat your fellow panellists, and I'm going to have to say, you shut up, we're going to a break. <laughs>